Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys uh, the Wax Museum in downtown uh, Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. Should be a lot of fun. Things are starting to open up now. These guys are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, um, I'm going to start with this. So, let's go check out the Madame Trousseau. I hope I'm saying that right. Wax Museum. Well, I just got in, and here's pink. First one you see. Look at the detail on her makeup. And you go in the elevator. Press 3R. Huh. We got a sign here. Please keep the edge of glory and don't touch the wax figures. Got it all set up like San Francisco. Robin Williams is the first one to greet you. He's hitchhiking. Detail is amazing. You know, I got an interesting story about Robin Williams. I used to play tennis with his mother, Lori Williams, at the Belvedere Tennis Club. I was a maintenance worker. And we became friends because I, be, I was like her gardener for a while. And I worked for her and her husband. Robin's uh, dad was an ex-Ford executive, Ford Motor Company. But I never had a chance to meet Robin Williams. The only cool thing is I did clean his bedroom once. Like I dusted and there was Mork and Mindy stuff everywhere. He was really sad when he um, committed suicide. This is cool. They got like blown up pictures everywhere on the wall. A cable car. Obviously, you take pictures of Alcatraz in the background. And I don't know if you know, but the cable car gets its name from grabbing onto a cable that goes under the streets. And the cable goes all over San Francisco underneath the streets. And there's a main powerhouse for all the cable cars in San Francisco. It's pretty amazing. Hey, how's it going? Cable car man. What else we got here? More pictures of the Victorians. And Van Ness and Market is one of the famous lines. Look at the little seagull up there. Uh, this is Harvey Milk. He was the first openly gay uh, supervisor to be elected into office and unfortunately him and Mayor Moscone in 1978 were assassinated by Dan White. Dan White was a, also a supervisor that resigned and then he wanted to be reinstated and because he did not get reinstated he was angry at the mayor and killed the mayor first and then he saw Dan White in the on the hallway and asked him to step into another room and shot him five times. This gentleman is Quentin Crisp. He's an author, which I honestly don't know much about. Um, but he's got a cool look to him. Not that familiar with him. He looks like he would be an English gentleman the way he's dressed. Looks like a cool guy to know. Says here is the author of The Naked Civil Servant. Huh. He was openly gay since the 1930s. Francis Ford Coppola. Producer of The Godfather, Apocalypse Now. The Outsiders, 
lives up in Napa now as a winery. Carlos Santana. Got a Paul Reed Smith guitar there. I like his uh, look. <laughs> he even got the finger on the strings of the guitar. He looks awesome. He played Woodstock in um, 69. I think he was 22 years old when he did that. Cool's Hendry shirt. Janis Joplin. Now she was a diamond in the rough. Her voice is amazing. And she looks awesome. This look uh, is a 1968 look. It's got all the jewelry on. She had a unique look to her. That woman could sing. She was in the band Big Brother and the Holding Company. And the bus here with the peace sign and the dragonflies. Pretty cool. It's all black light paint. <laughs> Give me a ride. I even got a little fire here. A miniature tent. A lot of people moved to San Francisco, you know, in the Haight and the Ashbury district in that time because the music scene was so awesome. And of course, the drug scene. Hey, how you doing, Janice? You had an awesome voice. Hey, Carlos. Black Magic Woman. Carlos always had an awesome tone. Still does. This is Jimi Hendrix. He played his guitar upside down and left handed. He got the Marshall stacks behind him. He's from Seattle. You know, he never learned to read or write music. One of the greatest musicians of all time never need learned to read or write music. And his first instrument was a broom, and then he, uh, he got a ukulele from his dad. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Enjoyed it. Of course, there's a pot leaf behind him. I have that same guitar, but I can't play it like Jimmy. Mine mostly just hangs on the wall. I always wanted to be a guitar player, but I uh, never had the uh, patience to learn. But I do have a guitar. Maybe someday I will. And... Here we got Jerry Garcia. I'm not sure what happened to his finger. I'm not sure if any bit is is that just broken off or did he actually have a missing finger or a short finger? If anybody knows, leave a comment. He any deadhead would know who he is. He had a lot to do with the Hayden Ashbury scene. He lived there. Hey Jerry, how's it going? Gotta go back to Joplin. That's an amazing uh, example of a wax face. It's like perfect. Here we got Jackie Chan. And he uh, does all his own stunts. He actually sings, too. I don't know if you knew that. But Jackie Chan sings, does his own stunts, and he's in the Guinness Book of World Record for doing his own stunts. Wouldn't want to get uh, poked in the throat by that guy. I'm sure all of you have seen at least one Jackie 
Chan movie. And this is uh, Ed Lee. He was the mayor of San Francisco. Um, unfortunately, he had a heart attack in 2017. He was shopping in the supermarket and collapsed. And a couple of hours later, he died. So it was kind of a random thing. He was 65 years old. Ah, the hate legs. Actual legs are on my hate video. And San Francisco Bridge, Golden Gate, of course. There's Court Tower, there's an earthquake, uh, 1906 earthquake devastation. Most of the damage was done by fire. This gentleman, uh, his name is Joseph Strauss, and he designed the Golden Gate Bridge, as well as about seven or eight other bridges. And he had a lot of uh, first, um, he demanded a safety net be installed under the bridge during work, and it saved uh, 19 lives. Now this is uh, John Sutter, part of the Sutter Mill, which was uh, where the gold rush started. An employee of his was in the mine and discovered gold and the word got out and the rest is history. It's kind of weird being in here when it's totally empty. Here's Al Capone. Of course, Al Capone was a famous gangster during the Prohibition times. There's an actual picture of him. Pretty amazing detail. Looks pretty realistic from the picture to the wax figure. He was um, um, responsible for the Valentine Day Massacre in Chicago, where he just lined up, I believe it was eight rival gang members and shot them all dead against a wall. So he's a violent man. He ended up in Alcatraz. Uh, stories go, he had it pretty good, though. But you see those eyes are kind of scary knowing that people looked in those eyes before they were killed by him and it was goonies. And some wanted posters and you could put your head through there. What else is here? Ah, the presidents. Franklin, Washington, Iraq. A lineup wall. You have been selected. Little bars on the window there. And the presidents. Then we got Benjamin Franklin. Look at those shoes he's got on. And the whole outfit is pretty awesome. He looks pretty intense. And Barack Obama this is the closest I'll ever get to a president. How you doing, Barack? He's kind of tall. Lincoln sitting over there. And of course, George Washington. He looks pretty good, too. It's amazing the detail they get on these. He looks a little off compared to the uh, dollar bill. 
Maybe not. It's pretty accurate, actually, when you look close. And then we got Lincoln. Unfortunate demise was assassinated. He was shot while watching a play. We're about to watch a play. Hey, Lincoln. How you doing? Rosa Parks. Now that's a powerful lady. Resisted. Refused to give up her seat to a white man. And the rest is history. She started change in this world or in America. And because of her segregation started to be abolished. It looks like an actual picture of her here. We need more people in the world like her. More courage. Rosa Parks. Amazing. All right, here's a presidential desk. I'm going to sit down. Here I am. The nuclear codes? Yeah, they're 8675309. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Here's some wax facts. 800 hours to sculpt a figure. Over 200 measurements and 180 photos taken during a two-hour celebrity sitting. 20 different types of colored paints are used to create the lifelike color. And each of the eyeballs are hand-painted. That's why they look so real. And well, here's the um, Steve Jobs, Mr. Apple. Of course, the Wozniak here, Steve Wozniak. Because of these two gentlemen, you have um, iPhone technology and iMacs and everything else. Soon to be cars. They're working on cars, too. Steve Jobs uh, passed away, I believe, like four or five years ago. Steve Wozniak also did the US Festival, one of the largest festivals. And Bill Gates, which is now, I think, the second richest man in the world below, Mr. Amazon. Martin Luther King, another great guy, great man that unfortunately was assassinated. Hey, hello, how you doing? He made a lot of change in this world for the positive. Is Neil Patrick Harris's head or Doogie Howser's head? So they start with the clay. Wow, the clay is really accurate. Underneath, they got these wired, like mannequin robot things. And they select all the colors for the facial tones. sketches and then a hand mold showing you that here and then face mold and they add the skin tone and the hair pretty amazing what they do ah, there's a little view over here over there you got pier 39 to the right we got Bodine's Bakery, San Francisco sourdough bread, and way off in the distance, the Golden Gate Bridge. More details about making the figures. 
pretty, um, look how they put each individual hair in there, it's crazy. You don't want to make mistakes doing that. Hair insertion. And The Walking Dead. Oh! I walked under a prop guillotine and they have a sound of it coming down. It scared me. So Madame Tussaud started making wax heads of severed heads in the 1700s. She actually started at a very young age of 11 and was found to have a lot of talent. Let me try this guillotine sound again. <coughs> it's just a creepy sound. You don't want to hear that sound. I don't like that sound. Look at this one. It's nice and dead. Reminds you of a zombie apocalypse. There she has got a head. I guess she'd pull it out and work on it. How'd you like that job? Making heads, severed heads and wax heads. But by the time she was, um, she started in 11, by the time she was a late teenager, she was an expert in different hands. Ed Lee's hand, Gabby Douglas's hand. And it looks like we're going downstairs into the sports area. Kind of cool the way they have the hallway decorated there. And of course, we got Seth Carey here, a warrior. That guy is a three point expert. Looks really real. And Jeremy Lin. That guy's extremely tall. Of course, Serena Williams. I've seen her destroy a lot of, of her opponents. And who we got? Babe Ruth. Home run king. Next time you have a Babe Ruth candy bar, thank him. Billie Jean King. She won Wimbledon. I didn't get into tennis until the mid to early 80s. And by then, Billie Jean King wasn't playing that much. And Gabby Deblis, the Olympian. She's amazing to watch. She's the first African-American gymnast to win the all-around Olympic champion. It's crazy how they did the her on a balancing beam. It's pretty awesome, actually. The sign says, don't climb on the beam. Oh, and Tiger Woods. He just got in a car crash back in February and he's lucky to be alive he broke both of his legs and they say the outside was crushed but the inside wasn't too bad it's the second time he's crashed a SUV I'm not sure how comfortable I'd be with him driving me around but what a golfer Joe Montana Amazing quarterback. Watched him um, develop with the Niners. And 
I watched the famous throw to Dwight Clark to win the Super Bowl against the Dallas Cowboys. The catch. He was fun to watch. I gotta get a picture with him. Hey Joe, how you doing? Muhammad Ali. Oh, that hurts. How those guys hit that back. Oh, he looks pretty good. That's awesome. He looks real. It's amazing how real these look. He looks like he could punch your brains out. Don't want to be hit by him. Cassius Clay. Michael Phelps. Human fish. He swims so fast, it's unbelievable that a human could go through water. Ah, music section. Ooh, Rihanna. Wow. Wow, she looks amazing. Look at her face and eyes. Wow. She looks stunning. Great outfit she's got on. Ah, they got a drum set. That's cool. Looks like you can play it. Taylor Swift. She's looking uh, sexy in that lace outfit. Wow. Detail is amazing. The eyes and the eyelashes, everything is so spot on. It's crazy. Bob Marley. You know, my mother took me to see Bob Marley um, in the late 70s. Uh, I think it was 78 in Berkeley. He unfortunately was also assassinated. Be right with you, Elvis. Michael Jackson. Another brilliant musician, one of a kind. No one could dance like Michael Jackson. No one. Hey, Michael. Uh, he left um, his health decisions up to his doctor, which he trusted. And the doctor, unfortunately, gave him something that ended up killing him. Selena Gomez, wow, look at her. Her face is so good, look at that. Super detailed. I love that dress. Heels, her whole outfit's great. Wow. Super realistic. You wait for her to just turn around and talk to you. Beyonce? She also looks amazing. Wow. Oh, she looks really good too. They got her whole facial features down, her eyes, hair, everything. She looks great. She's got a voice on her. Madonna in the Vogue Times. Vogue, let your body move to the music. Vogue. She had a controversial video back then, too. She had a lot of simulated sex in it. Very realistic looking. Crazy little outfit she's got. Wow, Lady Gaga. Look at these shoes. Those are awesome. Super high platforms, hollowed out in the pants. Her 
face. She's got some kind of football gear on. Colorful on the side. And her face is crazy. Look at her lipstick. It's awesome. Her eyes. Wow. Amazing detail. They did a great job on her. And then Selena. Another great talent that died way too soon. And Adele. She's got a voice of an angel. She looks great here, but she looks even better now. She's lost about 50 pounds. But she could sing, that's for sure. Elton John. Man, I loved him growing up when that Yellow Brick Road album came out. I listened to it over and over and over until my record wore out. Love Saturday Night, It's All Right for Fighting and Funeral for a Friend, Benny and the Jets, Candle in the Wind, all the songs. Amazing. I had a chance to see him live in high school, but I never went. How you doing, Elton? Well... Maybe I'll sit on the set and see if I can play for you guys. <laughs> well, here's Taylor Swift. I had an opportunity to take a picture with her. Might as well do that. She's looking nice tonight. Where do you want to go for dinner? Ah, okay. Hey Elvis, how's it going? Signing autographs. Look at those gold shoes. Isn't he supposed to have blue suede shoes on? Those look, that looks really good, the other wax figure. And here we got Alfred Hitchcock, Bates Motel, Psycho, The Birds, Vertigo. My first video on this channel was Bodega Bay, and I went to the location where they filmed the birds. So check it out. He's one of my favorite uh, storytellers in cinema. He's quite talented. Then you got Whoopi from Sister Act. Look at her eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's looking at you like it's very ominous, I guess. It's a good look. It's some of the birds from the birds. For those of you who haven't seen the movie, you should go check it out. It's a little corny by today's standards. Huh, look at that. Got Jesus playing the Les Paul. Looks like it's upside down, too. What else we got here? Marilyn Monroe. What a beauty queen she was. She's got her famous uh, red dress on from... Uh, what movie was that? Oh, I forgot the name of the movie. I've seen it. How you doing today? A lot of men lusted over her. She's pretty good. Her face seems a little off to me compared to photographs I've seen. Profile's good. Just the head on. Still a great wax figure. The amazing legs. And John Travolta. And his Pulp Fiction character. That was such a great movie. Wow. Now this one's really accurate. That looks just like it. Looks like he's going to poke your eyes out like one of the Three Stooges. It's 
Pretty cool, I like that. And then Steven Spielberg here. Thank him for a lot of great movies. E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark. He made Schindler's List. This is a sad but very uh, powerful movie. Very well done. Robert Pattison. And a lot of good movies too. Look at this wall behind him. It's a mesmerizing wall. You are getting sleepy. While you're in the wax museum, you will be tired. <laughs> Trippy wall. What else we got here? Look at the hair on his chin, it's so perfectly put in there. You know, each one of those is pressed in individually, which is crazy. Crazy stuff. Think of the hours it took to make that. Ah, and we got E.T. Phone home! Phone home! That was a good movie. And the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Wouldn't want to run into one of those one at night or anything. He's not made out of Mac wax, so he's made out of some kind of rubber. Clint Eastwood. Man. I loved his westerns growing up and all his uh, Dirty Harry movies. Good, the Bad, the Ugly, Fistful of Dollars, Two, Mule, two Mules for Sister Sarah. Uh, what's the other one? Hang Him High, The Enforcer, Dirty Harry. Um, even Gran Turismo. Fun fact about him, he is the mayor of Carmel. It's about... 80 miles south of San Francisco in the town of Carmel. I think he might still live there. That's a very accurate... Man, <laughs> he makes me look short. And I'm 5'10". Ah, here we go. Steve McQueen with Bullet. Now, who doesn't know or love this movie? If you have never heard of Bullet... You need to check out at least the car chase scene. It's one of the greatest car chase scenes ever filmed. It's got the Ford Mustang Fastback Shelby GT against the Dodge Charger. And they're flying through San Francisco on the hills and they're catching air. And it's, it's one of the greatest chase scenes ever filmed. Steve McQueen's also really good in Le Mans racing movie. That's really realistic, too. Look at his eyes staring at you. He's got bullets there. Watch. Not many people wear watches anymore. No gun, but he's got a holster. Ah, here we go. Movie star land. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's a really great figure there. Looking good in that suit. Very accurate face. That's crazy. You can't, you're just waiting them to move their head and freak you out. They look so real. Especially when you're in here alone. And you got Anne Hathaway here. And she's just gorgeous. Look at her smile and her eyes and just everything. She's so um, beautiful. Very good, very real, just stunning. I am. Where are we going tonight? What do you want to eat? 
in my dreams, right? Hey, buddy, where are we hanging tonight? All right, that sounds good. This is Laverne Cox, and she's an American actress and an LGBTQ advocate. She was in a Netflix series, Orange is a New Black. That looks good. Tony Bennett. Left my heart in San Francisco. He looks great. Really accurate. He got his nose dead on. Morgan Freeman. I consider him an icon. His eyes are like perfect. It's just wow, really good. Really good. The accuracy of these um, black speakers is amazing. Nicholas Cage. Check out his eyes. His mesmerizing eyes. What was that? Uh, he did a crazy movie about Vegas. It's a trippy movie. We got Sinjaya. She looks pretty. Very nice. Dinklage. Looks like he's going to the Oscars. That's pretty good. I never watched Game of Thrones, but I know he was um, a star in it. I haven't seen much with him in it. He was in a lot of cameos and stuff like that, but I haven't seen a lot. And we got Doogie Howser. I mean, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. That one's super accurate. That was the one where we were looking at all the parts, the head and the face. Crazy how accurate they are. Kristen Bale. Batman. I am Batman. Actually, I heard he hates that role that he played in Batman. Johnny Depp. Now there's a talent. You think of all the great movies he's been in. Edward Scissorhands and all the Pirates of the Caribbean ones and all the serious roles. He played that mobster too. That was pretty good. I hope he gets out of his problems with divorce right now. His wife's trying to rake him through the coals and get, you know, half of his fortune. Very talented man there. Who else we got here? Ah, Kate Winslet. She's a beauty. Pretty dress she's got. Look at that uh, centerpiece. Wow. She looks great. I like how they're all in their evening dresses. She's certainly beautiful. Great detail. George Clooney just hanging over here. Wow, he looks really good. Look at that. Amazing detail. How you doing, George? What do you want to do tonight? Okay, that sounds good. Wow. Crazy how good these are. It really is. Details just crazy. 
Look at this, you can sit on this couch and be framed in this magic mirror. And what do we got here? Sam Smith. He's the crooner that makes women's hearts melt. That is a cool suit he's got on. I like the old 40s style microphone too. Pretty cool. Great detail. Love that suit. I thought I'd show you pink one more time because she's got all these tattoos. Look at these tattoos on her lower thigh, dog tags, some kind of um, Japanese writing, something like a spider or something. There, I don't know. And something on her arm. You ever see her concert? She does all these acrobats above the concert goers. And we're going out. And we got Zuckerberg, Mr. Facebook there. Another billionaire in the world. That's pretty good. Look at this bus. This bus is awesome. Yeah, these things are worth a fortune now. I watched uh, Meekum Auction last year, and I think one of them went for like $105,000. Course it is fixed up really nice. But can you imagine a Volkswagen bus going for that amount in any condition? Kind of crazy. I like the way this was painted, though. It's all hand painted. can see some hippies driving down the road in the 60s in this one, huh? And that, that hand reminds me of like the, the Monty Python series animation style. Got a little alien there with a peace sign a heart in his hand. What else we got here? Something in the corner. Alcatraz Island. Uh, it's more Al Capone. More of the sellies that are in there. With Al Capone. And a detailed map of Alcatraz. And we got a little different one of Beyonce. Different outfit out front here. She looks good. I think the one inside looks a little better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Wax Museum here in San Francisco on this beautiful day. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it for sure. It's amazing how much realism there are in those wax um, figures. So if you guys uh, enjoyed it as much as I did, uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll give you a lot more of those type of videos. As the world starts opening up again and um, hit the bell notification you'll be notified when I upload videos I'm doing it like two three to four a week at this point and um, at the end of the video you'll see my little logo if you tap on that it's an easy way to subscribe all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time